Hey, welcome back to another episode of Championship Muscles. I got a message from one of my viewers. Hey coach, I've been training for about a year. Each body part gets trained three times a week, but I'm not seeing the results I think I should be seeing. What am I doing wrong? I'm gonna give you that answer right after this. Hey guys, welcome back, Championship Muscle, Coach P here. I've given that question a lot of thought, and I kind of gave it a Reader's Digest version of what the question was. The question relates to overtraining. Honestly, if you're able to train each body part three times a week, you're not giving your muscles enough time to recuperate. On top of that, if you're able to train each body part three times a week, the big red flag on that one is you didn't train those muscles hard enough because you're not sore enough to say, oh my gosh, I just did chest on Monday, Wednesday is way too soon. You, you, didn't, you didn't effectively train. You did something in the gym, but you didn't do enough to stimulate enough muscle tissue in other words, you didn't get that skin split and pump you hear me talking about all the time. So here's my suggestion to you. You've heard me talk about in previous videos, my drop set. Drop sets are my, that's my baby. You need to train one body part a day and you need to kill it. Now, if you have that personality where I gotta do, do two body parts a week, I gotta do chest twice a week, I got to do back twice a week. I got to do all my body parts twice a week. There's a way to do it. You have to allow at least 72 hours of recuperation between those workouts. If, and I'm going to use chest for example. If you're doing chest on Monday, you shouldn't be able to do chest until Thursday, the earliest, or maybe Friday. Especially if you're drop setting the way I've explained it in my videos, picking your three or four favorite exercises and doing three rounds of drop sets. Let me tell you, you shouldn't be able to train that body part again for at least three full days or 72 hours, which would put you to Friday. So what this viewer is doing is overtraining not training the right way, not stimulating enough muscle tissue. That's why you're not seeing the results that you're expecting yourself to see. There's not enough recovery between workouts. There's not enough muscle engagement, enough to stimulate the muscle tissue to get you the soreness that you're looking for. With this overtraining, if you can understand this analogy I'm gonna to put together, you're training a body part on Monday, Okay, you're training that body part. Tuesday, the muscle starts to recover. Whatever muscle it is, it doesn't matter. The muscle's starting to recover. So here you've torn it apart on Monday. So Tuesday, it's starting to recover. Slowly recover, slowly recover. Wednesday, you hit that same body part again, never made it to full recovery, and you're tearing it down again. You're never allowing the muscle to fully recover, which is gonna give you the muscle growth that you're looking for. On top of it all, are you eating right? Are you getting enough rest? There's so many factors involved in this, but, and I can go on for an hour talking about the whole thing, but you know, soup to nuts, just to keep it real simple, if you are that obsessed with training a body part twice a week, if Monday is your chest day, your next chest day should be Friday, not Wednesday. And if it is Wednesday and you're able to train it with no issues at all, then you didn't train it effectively enough on Monday, bottom line. And if Monday's your chest day and Tuesday's your back day, your next back workout shouldn't be until Saturday. And if you're doing shoulders on Wednesday, your next shoulder workout shouldn't be till Sunday. Follow that routine. Just follow along the routine I just played out. Then you can train your body parts twice a week. But remember, when you train that body part, you gotta kill it. High reps, 
drop sets, high volume, low rest between sets. Because if you're not sore a day or two after that workout that you just did on Monday, you haven't trained it effectively enough. All right, guys, that's my rant for today. Get a book out on Amazon. You've been hearing me talk about it in all my videos. It's getting five-star reviews. Untold Secrets of Bodybuilding. It's 40 years of my bodybuilding knowledge in a 28-page book. It's an easy read. It's got a lot of my sarcasm in it. It sets a home run to what you've always seen in the gym and what you've always been afraid to say, but you've always been thinking it. So I said it. I got a balls enough to say it. Plus, I'm a product rep for Gene Pro Protein. By far, Gene Pro is the best protein supplement I have ever used in my 40 years in this game. I'm not getting paid to say this. I did an experiment on myself. My blood sugar was never affected. I'm a type 2 diabetic. Gene Pro mixes thoroughly in any beverage you mix it in. And I put it in iced coffee in the morning, one hour before I train. Shake it up, down it. I'm good to go. No effect on my blood sugar. 30 grams of protein per scoop, and it's only 53 calories. It is worth a try. Use Coach P in the discount block. Get yourself 15% off. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the gym. Thank you for watching my videos. Peace out.